Hi everybody, my name is Paul Walsh, I'm 21 years old, and I'd love to be your next Blue Peter presenter. I feel I can bring a lot to what is now the best program on television, the main thing being my enthusiasm. I hope to show you that in the next few minutes as I take you around my hometown of Middlesbrough. Now, you might not know a lot about Middlesbrough, you might not even have heard of it, but hopefully you'll see why it's such a cool place to come and visit. What better place to start our tour around Middlesbrough than at the birthplace of Captain James Cook, one of the world's most famous sailors. James Cook himself was born at this very point on October the 27th, 1728. Without James Cook, you wouldn't see the Pacific Ocean, you wouldn't see Australia or New Zealand on any world maps. Let's put that to the test. Captain Cook's adventures took him all over the world. He went to Australia, the Pacific Ocean, and even Hawaii. His adventures were absolutely enormous. But remember, as a wise man once said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. After all that history, why don't I take you for a bit of retail therapy? I'm standing here on Stockton High Street, the widest high street in the United Kingdom, almost 70 metres wide. Of course, this wouldn't be Blue Peter if we couldn't mention elephants. This high street is so wide, in fact, you could lay a whopping 47 elephant trunks across the width of the high street. Another illuminating fact about this high street is that the common match was invented here on April the 7th, 1827 by Mr. John Walker at number 59, just down there. So the next time you do this, think of Stockton on Tees. Unfortunately, Mr. Walker never patented his invention, so he never truly received the credit he deserved. If only they'd have had Dragon's Den in the 1800s. Why well, guys, there's still loads more to see. And the best way to get around Middlesbrough is on the famous 102 year old Transporter Bridge. Amazingly, one of only two bridges of its kind in the entire world. You might have seen this bridge in the 2000 movie Billy Elliot, or famously in 2001 in the BBC TV series Albina's Endnet, in which it showed the bridge being fictionally taken down. Hands up our bridge, Geordie. Right. There's no way you can come to Middlesbrough FC and, and not see the famous brewery, which is where we're heading right now. I'm here at the 35,000 capacity Riverside Stadium, home of Middlesbrough FC. Now, in today's football, you might think players like Messi, David Beckham, cost an awful lot of money, but in 1905, Middlesbrough became the first club to sign a player for £1,000. Alf Common became the first player to sign for Middlesbrough from local rivals Sunderland for this huge figure. £1,000 was massive, and in today's money, it's the equivalent of nine and a half million pounds. Well, I can't come to the riverside and not see a match, so let's go inside and see where the action happens. Right, as promised, here I am, I'm about to see Middlesbrough play Peterborough United, which is just warming up as we speak. So, what can I tell you, it should be a good game, fingers crossed. Excuse me, mate, you can't come all this way in Middlesbrough and not talk about the carnival. Well, um, right guys, by popular demand I thought I'd finish our little tour of Middlesbrough by demonstrating our most famous culinary delight, the Parmesan. Traditionally, this dish is a deep fried chicken or pork steak topped with cheddar cheese. In true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. This is a far healthier version using a turkey breast steak baked in the oven with low fat mozzarella. Tastes absolutely mint with a green salad. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour around Middlesbrough and if you're ever around, please come and visit. But for now, catch you later guys.